Yo, this is Tyler. I'm Mark. Mark in 2 a.m. But and I'm John, and I'm not. It's a great band, so <laughs> you should be. You don't want me, trust me. Right. Unless I could be like, I don't know. Can I do like air double bass or something? No, you gotta play. Yeah, you I have to no, play. Yeah, there's no air. <laughs> Damn. We have. We gotta find like a real. We've got a lot of work to do, guys. <laughs> a lot. Castanets. So you guys, um, you were touring pretty rigorously after you released your album in September. So. Is this kind of the calm before the storm again? Are you going back on the road again? We've been in the studio pretty heavily for the last like month, and uh, I think we're we've kind of shifted a little bit to just writing some new songs and, and figuring out what we're gonna put out next. But we always kind of like we'll do little weeks here and there. We'll be on the road, and then we'll probably end up popping on a, a tour this summer. Um, but yeah, but kind of new material has been the last few weeks. Cool. Cool. Talk to me about, like, actually, I mean, it was your debut album that came out in September. How many years actually went into that? Talk to me about that, and then now a few months removed from it, kind of reaping the benefits of, I'm, I'm hoping, really good feedback from the album, because it was really awesome. Yeah, I mean, I think it's like they say, you, your first album you kind of spend your whole life making in certain ways, but we started writing songs together in L.A. in like 2007, so it was a long time coming to finally see them come out. Right. And then, I mean, now that it's out and we have you know more than just one or two songs floating around the internet just to see all the fans singing back multiple songs and having people connect, like we always say everyone has a different song on our album, so it's really cool just to see it come to fruition. The cool thing about you guys, I don't know if, if you've heard this and I'll try to make it coherent, but it kind of seems like even after the first listen of hearing one of your songs, I feel like I've heard it before. Like, I'm not saying it's like, I'm not saying like you guys sound like everyone else. No, no, that's no, the yeah, last yeah. thing I'm saying. I think we've always, you know, like, feeling familiar with something the yeah. first time you hear it, I think yeah. is amazing. I think yeah. any time you hear something and you immediately, you don't feel like you have to figure it out. Right, right. It's awesome. I think that's, you know, some of our favorite stuff. It's just the stuff you can put on, you know, for anybody and, and they don't have to like sit with it and really like work on figuring it out because it's music. It shouldn't really be hard work. To, like you know, you can sit and analyze it, and that's awesome. But you shouldn't have to. There's something about good pop music, you know, where it's like it's just telling you the perfect thing at the perfect time in the right way. And I feel like that's why it always feels familiar to me. Like when I hear classic music that I love, or you know, from any time period, really. And I think we just try to do that. So. Where are you guys from? Like all, all of you guys. San Francisco. Okay. We got a uh, two Seattle, and then uh, the our guitar player Matt. I grew up with him. Uh, actually, just north of San Francisco, and then we have Washington D.C. Also. Oh, cool. So you guys are all over the place. Yeah. And now with me joining the band, New York. Yeah. So yeah. now we yeah. kind of cool. Full now we're circle. finally here. Yeah. Cool. Cool. <laughs> so tell me, I know that you just dropped your first album, but like, are you? You said that you were in the studio. So I mean, are you thinking second album this quick or? Or are you just I mean, kind of doing like an EP or something? Yeah, it's 2011. Man. We gotta keep this music coming out all the time. And I think we uh, we put our music out. We've been, you know, we were touring, like you said, we've gone on tour with Chitty Bang and Mike Posner and a bunch of other acts. Uh, and so now it's like we we just had a few a few weeks off in New York and decided to really get back at it and put out some new stuff as soon as we can. So. Um, do you have any idea what what direction you might want to go? In Musically, yeah. Hopefully a good one. Yeah, that's I, a think, big I think it's the, the bottom line. Oh, I think we always, like, we, we listen to a ton of new stuff, and we, all five of us, have our favorite, you know, people that are out that we're listening to and we're inspired by. And so I think, you know, just writing more modern pop music is kind of like... I, I love that you guys are using the pop word, because there was a time where you hear pop and it's just got this negative stigma to it. But what's wrong with pop? Yeah. yeah. It's, right? it's always, I think even the coolest of cool people at the end of the day sit in their house alone and love pop music. Yes. Even if they don't admit it at the parties and on the blogs and, and whatever. <laughs> they're, they're at home and they're listening. They're, they're listening, listening to Prince and Michael Jackson in their house. In Gaga. In Gaga. Gaga. Do you and have any, any favorites? Sorry, go ahead. Any favorites? Oh, yeah. we got, I mean, we got tons. Like new stuff or? Not anything. I'm just curious what's on your iPod. Yeah, what's, what's like some new stuff right now? I really like this new Collect Car single mm -hmm. that uh, she did with Frank Music. That's dope. I just heard that this week. 
I'm really, I'm, I'm sure I sound like a lot of people, but I really like Frank Ocean in the weekend and some of the new like R&B kind of 90s throwback R&B stuff that's coming out. Also, uh, Miguel mm -hmm. has been like one of my favorite singers recently. So, I'm glad I'm Speaking about 90s uh, R&B and yeah. pop, do you have a, a guilty pleasure you want to like? You guys gonna do like a Color Me Bad um, cover song tonight or something? Close. Actually, yeah. That was was that completely a guess? Was it was that... just totally a guess. <laughs> no, uh, we are. We uh, we have a new edition song Get that we it. started covering. Which one? Uh, if it isn't love. Ah, nice. So yeah, check that out. And that might uh, we've been working on a recording of it too. Maybe. Cool. So, yeah. Just do not involve Bobby Brown with anything you guys do. Oh, I wish we could. Yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Maybe we can get him <laughs> on stage tonight or something. Yeah, because I don't like this new musical direction where you're like having me join the band and I don't play an instrument. You, and Bobby Brown. You and Bobby yeah. Brown. Yeah. You guys. It's perfect. It's kind of, I think. You guys can do some choreographed dancing, I feel like. Oh, uh, now you're going to have me dance? Yeah. Are you That's kidding? Right. Oh, How's it going? Good. Please. You guys want to get back? Yeah. Do you guys want to be in our interview? Yeah, say hi. Good. Hey, hey. Hi. what's up? What are you name? Are you trying to Oh, man. All right. Are you guys in the band? No, we're dancing. Okay. You're dancers? These yeah. are some dancers. You guys want to dance with Bobby Brown and him tonight? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That you says it all, it. right? Yeah, we can just really awesome. You can hop on in. Go for it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That might be live. But yeah. Um, anyway. Right. New York. Try the next, next door down. Thank you. Yeah. I think if you learned anything, you learned that she lost her phone tonight. Yeah. Right? And she was a little scared to dance with you and Bobby Brown. I would be too. Yeah. I'd be scared She wasn't to, ready to grab the spotlight. Like, yeah. I'd be scared to walk next to Bobby Brown and yeah. dance with him. <laughs> I would love to dance with Bobby Brown. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you.